The winter solstice is coming up, and it's a powerful moment to connect with the natural world and throw off millennia of spiritual imperialism. So how will you celebrate? P.S. Stay tuned until the end of the video for a giveaway to amp up your solstice festivities. We've talked a lot on this channel about the power of bringing nature into our lives. It's beneficial for your own personal health and well-being, but might also have the power to reshape the way we collectively relate to the planet. Is worshiping nature a climate solution? See this video for more on this idea. One simple way to connect with the rhythm of the natural world is to celebrate the astronomical markers of the year, days when the sun's position mark the official changing of the seasons. There are the fall and spring equinoxes when day and night are equal length, signaling that the days will begin to grow, either longer or shorter. And there are the solstices, the longest days of the year in the summer and the shortest day of the year in the winter. Humans have been celebrating these seasonal markers for centuries, maybe even since the dawn of humanity. And it makes sense. The sun provides the warmth and nutrients plants need in order to feed us humans and the rest of the food web. So the sun cycles of warming and cooling our planet are crucial to our existence. Celebrating these moments connects us to nature's seasonal cycles and also in the Northern Hemisphere, the winter solstice in December is particularly culturally important, marking the deepest, darkest night of the year and the beginning of the return of sunlight and warmth. Across much of Europe, the solstice was traditionally celebrated with feasting, bonfires, gifts, and boozy good cheer. Even in sunny Italy, where the winters were less harsh and the Romans were in charge, the time around the solstice was filled with celebrations relating to a variety of gods, making it an extremely festive and important time of the year. And you may be thinking, yeah, yeah, I already celebrate a holiday in winter and it's Christmas. How is celebrating the solstice any different? The good news, if you're celebrating Christmas, you're already a part of ancient human solstice traditions. The fact is that the only reason we celebrate Christmas in December is the solstice. The Bible does not say when Jesus was born, though from context clues, it seems like it was probably in spring. So in the fourth century, when the church decided to start celebrating his birthday, they picked a time of the year when there was already a lot of partying. The idea being that if people were already celebrating something around the solstice, that thing might just as well be Jesus. Slowly over time, solstice carousing turned into Christmas as we know it. There are also rabbinical stories associating Hanukkah, the Jewish festival of light, with the solstice as well. So, okay, even if the reason we're celebrating anything at the end of the year is the solstice, we're not proposing that you throw all your favorite holiday traditions out the window. You can still practice your religion and infuse an appreciation of nature back into your celebrations, remembering the real reason for the season the solstice. How to do this? You can take a cue from pre-Christian solstice traditions in Europe and use greenery and fire as central motifs for your decorations. You may already have a Christmas tree, the evergreen tree being an ancient symbol of life, even in the depths of winter, but what about bringing some local greenery into the mix too? What trees and shrubs are evergreen in your area? Could you cut a few sprigs to decorate your table or add to a wreath? In the past, we've done this by adding some native yopon holly, magnolia, and juniper to our decor. Celebrate the plants that remind us that spring will return. Fire, or just pretty warm lighting, is another ancient symbol of the sun's warmth returning. Light some candles, have a bonfire, or just light up a fireplace and invite some friends to bask in its warmth and a nice warm beverage. Glue wine, anyone? While you're at it, spend some time outside on the solstice night. You can chill with friends around a bonfire or just have a solo moment to gaze into the darkest night and contemplate life, the universe, and everything. Maybe even watch the sunrise and for some ancient flair, yell Sol Invictus into the dawn air. A lot of these are festive things you're already probably doing in the holiday season, except for maybe the yelling. So just dial up the nature appreciation a notch and boom, solstice celebration activated. You are now doing your part to remember that you are just a tiny, tiny speck in Earth's web of life. So okay, maybe you're on board with the solstice stuff and you want to proclaim to the world, I love the sun or at least remind your community that the solstice is a thing. 
have we got just the thing for you. Fresh off the Weirder Futures presses, check these puppies out. Solstice Celebration Yard Signs. Available on Zazzle with two designs to choose from, a subtle reminder that the sun is in fact cool, and a more aggressive assertion that Christianity be darned, the solstice is the real reason for the season. And here's a solstice treat for you. The first five folks to join our Patreon at the big weirdo level will get the sign of their choice for free. That's right, our first Patreon giveaway, the first of what we hope to be many, many weird things to help you live a more nature-centric, culturally diverse, and frankly weird life. So let us know in the comments below, what's your plan this solstice? What's your favorite way to celebrate the winter season? And if you do happen to get a yard sign, please send us a pic. Like really, we'd love to know what you're up to out there, you weirdos. Happy solstice, y'all.